Hi friends. It'll never be like me to make a statement and not be able to back it up. So I'm gonna, this is highly filtered water at the kitchen sink and this is hyper filtered faucet right here. All of the water that comes into the house is clean. This wasn't without sacrifice. Here, uh, different labels of organic beans, refried rice and beans. I don't uh, stock up on too much of it even though the label claims organic because of the BPA and uh, always a better bang for your buck is getting you know the bags of rice and the dried beans. But I had posted on uh, the video before last about going to an Indian grocery store and finding better deals on things than even at the uh, Costco and Sam's Club. But while I, I have Sam's and Costco on the list, here's 100% pure vanilla. This is 16 ounces and I believe it was a little over $7 and you are going to pay four dollars at least you know I'm, I'm really not that great with memory and numbers but for just a small bottle in a grocery store pure almond this is typically an expensive organic pasta one of the best tasting I buy it in a lot of it when it's on sale and here's the one store sometimes there's Whole Foods uh, Fresh Fields Boney's depending on where you live what your markets are in Columbia, South Carolina, it's Earth Fair. They have their brand. Mac and cheese comes in the yellow kind. The kids, um, my kids, really like it. Here's ready-made tomato, vegetable broth. Even though Rice Dream um, doesn't uh, claim to be organic, the company says that it is, but it just doesn't pay for the organic licensing. There are a couple things in here that Michael is not fond of, but I still have a little bit on hand for emergency. I usually make my rice beverage from scratch. Toaster pastries, all kinds of flavors. Kids love them if you want a ready-made snack. And of course, this is suspect because this is uh, Nabisco, larger companies, so uh, I don't do too much of that. But it's a, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good deal. And here uh, on this label, it went past Michael's scrutiny, and that's assorted entertainment crackers, also from Earth Fair, 8.8 .8 ounces. One of these days, I'll have to have the receipt to show you that these items are not all that much more expensive. But what I want to show you is one of the incredible deals of going to this Indian store, and I had mentioned it in a write-up to the video before last and maybe even in the last one. This is 12 ounces and I bought a few different varieties of this Indian snack. It's very much like a cracker. $1.99, 12 ounces. You cannot, you, uh, I have not been able to touch crackers, organic or otherwise, for this price. But here was the best part about this. This is wheat flour, turmeric. I'm not particularly that fond of iodized salt. You know I like the um, natural salts. Palm oil and garlic. Uh, palm oil and some of the other oils like an olive oil and safflower oil uh, I, I like. Of course if it's hydrogenated it doesn't even come into the house. So there it is. And, you know, you're not seeing this whole huge list of ingredients for a cracker. Make them at home, they're even better. But this was one of the most unbelievable deals. This is two pounds of dates for six dollars. Two pounds of dates. I've never seen them in any store anywhere for anywhere near this uh, inexpensive. Whole and raw nuts great to have. They freeze well. Here's a homemade kimchi. Kimchi is very, very inexpensive to make and extremely expensive in a health food store. Simple process. Cheap ingredients. 
healthy for you. This is an organic sauerkraut with no expiration date. And this is one of my favorite brands for uh, baking powder. And every once in a while I'll use a cornstarch, not too often. But it claims non-genetically modified corn. This is my canned butter. In my write-up in that video about the Indian store, canned butter will last a couple years. Clarified canned jarred butter will last almost indefinitely, so I hear. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt to do, and organic butter is super expensive, and you lose, I'm going to say, about a third in the process of clarification, going from regular... Oh, excuse me, regular butter to clarified butter. I found five pounds of the clarified butter known as ghee in the Indian store for $19. Unbelievable deal, so I'm going to go back and scoop up some of that. Now here's the best deal. I of course had to buy sugar and pectin and the mason jars. This was a hot water bath blackberry. In a week and a half we have managed to can jar 70 12 ounce blackberry it was just labor about two and a half three hours a day for a week and a half and I have 70 jars of jam plus frozen one of my favorite things to have on hand because I don't do supplements of any kind I, I get my uh, vitamins and minerals through the Sun and the food and my spices and that type of thing this is kelp wonderful health food. Organic lemon juice just as a backup from when I can't get um, the fresh lemons and of course it can be used as a sanitizer and also to make all different kinds of sauces and dressings. The true health food fanatics must have in a kitchen is your organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with mother once you have mother you can always create your own vinegar this is an organic applesauce not that much more expensive than regular applesauce purchased on sale you could find this at just about any large box store and I'm gonna say that this isn't even more expensive than regular but if you hold this up to regular spaghetti sauce you will see a deeper richer color now this is the uh, healthy sugar section and this is grade B maple syrup I like it flavorful buy in bulk my black strap molasses it comes in all uh, there's quite a few makers of this and so, of course, I go for the most for the least amount of money. And here is a local raw honey with also one uh, next to a bigger five pound container of uh, a more of a major producer of raw honey that I have seen in numerous health food stores. It goes a long way. It stores indefinitely and it is definitely a health food. So, it can be done, like I said, you know, you just figure out what the difference is between necessity and luxury, and the fundamentals of life are definitely clean air, clean water, and clean food. It is not up for compromise with me, and uh, I will sacrifice just about everything else, going out, new clothes, haircuts, you name it to provide clean, safe food for my family. I want to be a grandmother and my boys' balls are important to me. First cold press, olive oil. Organic olive oils tend to get expensive and uh, so I have a little bit of this, regular and a little bit of organic, depending on the organic I never add heat to, the regular Olive oil, if I have to add heat, that's what gets used. Organic mustards and salsas. And of course, if I have a good year for tomatoes, I'll definitely be canning a lot of my own. Beans, seeds, nuts, dried fruits. This is a great little item. 
raw pumpkin seeds. This is uh, very nutritious. It also will help expel any intestinal parasites. And for the kids that, um, you know, like their cinnamon toast crunch, there is an organic brand that's very, very tasty, raisin brand. And you name it, just about any type of cereal that's out there that the kids are used to, you can find uh, the organic. So that's, you know, that's it in a nutshell. Like I said, I'd rather have less of the quality food than a lot of food that I know for sure isn't any any good at all. Lentils and and beans of all kinds. And keep in mind too, you buy these at an organic store and keep rotating your stock out and it will <laughs> it'll grow and produce even more for you. This is one of the major brands that's actually decent and this is Snyder's hard pretzels. They store for a very long time. Great munchy snack. And I'm going to open up the deep freeze just for a second. Flowers of all kinds. My fiber, coconut oil, uh, organic flowers being frozen before they get jarred. And these are all of the blackberries. Gallon jar after gallon jar. And back there I'm doing a, since mangoes are in season, I am doing a freezing mango experiment. Seeds and nuts and rice froze when organic berries come in and they're inexpensive. Extra ones are purchased or picked and froze, canned, consumed. Um, when I opened up that freezer, I thought about something else. That, oh, oh, the mangoes, the mangoes. That's the other thing. At the Indian store, I bought a case of mangoes for $8. A week before that, I purchased a case of mangoes at Sam's. But here's the funny thing. The one at Sam's was $6 for a case. I thought I was getting a good deal. The mango case at the Indian store was only $2 more, but it was double the amount of mango. So, uh, I had noticed in San Diego, in LA, if you get off the beaten path and go into the Asian uh, supply houses, little grocery stores, Indians, uh, Middle Eastern, you go into their little specialty shops in their own neighborhoods, uh, you could find unbelievable deals. Um, uh, I went to a Middle Eastern, a Persian store in San Diego, and could not believe how inexpensive saffron is. And same thing, when I, I'm going to take the camera in when I get the car to go shopping and show you this Indian store. Pre-made snacks, fruits, vegetables, flowers of all kinds. The ghee, which is clarified butter. Unbelievable deals. And spices. Can't touch it. Not, not at the best shopping uh, sales. Online, Sam's have never seen prices so low as this little Indian grocery store. So, uh, there you have it. That's my, my little uh, display on healthy eating for prep, long term, short term. I'm going to hit the garden and I'll be back with an update soon. Talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.